So today we have another G Fuel review on not necessarily a new flavor, but a flavor that is very limited and only available at a certain time of the year, and that is peach cobbler. Now, I've never had peach cobbler before because last year I did not buy it, but this year I just bought it in the BOGO. That's why my tower has grown is because I bought four tubs and I do also have two more tubs on the way. Uh, including the new classified flavor, which I will be doing a review on uh, as soon as I get my hands on it. But today we're going to be reviewing peach cobbler. Now I have milk and water right here to try the flavor. Now I've heard a lot of bad things and a few good things. And <laughs> I know that this is a very polarizing flavor but you know i just kind of wanted to have it for the novelty and you know just to have it maybe it's a great flavor um you know g fuel does really well with their peach flavors so you never really know especially because g fuel is something that is very um very opinion based and everyone's taste is different and everybody likes different flavors that's one of the the weirdest things about G Fuel. Oh yeah, I already opened this by the way. I've already opened all four of my tubs from the BOGO and I already got the scooper ready and everything. It's probably gonna be a really short video. Okay, camera stopped recording because the card was full. Uh, let's get back to this. So it kind of, it smells like peach. It definitely smells like peach. It has this almost like a peach yogurt. That's kind of what I'm smelling. It, uh, well, it just kind of changed. I don't know. Also, I don't know where the camera cut off, so I don't really remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about how G Fuel is very polarizing and many people like many, many different flavors. It's, it's a good thing and a very odd thing, you know, for so many people that have so many different tastes. But let's go ahead and get, I almost put a full scoop. I need a half scoop. So we have a half scoop going into the water. Okay, it's turning yellow. Thought it'd be orange. I guess not. Okay, so that is good. Now let's open up the milk and get a half scoop into there. Got a half scoop going into the milk. All right, so we have the two shakers of water and milk. Let's shake up the peach cobbler. Okay, that was so loud. You're not gonna be able to hear that, but that was so loud. So the milk has already foamed up like crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's foamed up like crazy. And this, just water, so no foam. Okay, that weirdly smells like strawberry banana. <laughs> strawberry banana with a hint of peach. It really doesn't really smell like peaches too much. It kind of just smells like peaches and bananas. I think that's what I'd say. Peaches and bananas. All right, let's go ahead and try peach cobbler in water. Yeah, that's kind of. Ooh, that's rough. It's really rough. Sorry about the lightning outside. Lightning thunder. Ooh, that's uh, not good. That is not good. Hopefully the milk is somewhat good and that can redeem this, but this is... Whew, I'm almost gagging. That's... Oh my god. That's bad. That That's bad. Oh. Alright. This seems to be a lot of pressure in this shaker. Let's smell the insanely foamy milk. It just smells like milk. Wow. <laughs> Does it smell like anything? Oh, whoa, I just got a lot, like a lot of cinnamon. First one doesn't smell like cinnamon too much, but this one just got that huge burst of cinnamon. Okay, let's go ahead and try peach cobbler and milk. Okay. Definitely not as bad as water. It's uh, yeah that that's that's not good no the the milk is better but it's still not I'm like puckering my lips oh okay there it is that's where the gross that's where gross hits yeah 
Mm, that it's not good <laughs> at all. Um, <laughs> that's so gross. I wish I had water. I want to drink water because I want to get rid of that taste. It's not good at all. Uh, the cinnamon. <laughs> Really struggling it's so bad um, the cinnamon does not come through in the water it does come through in the milk but yeah it just does not taste good like at all I don't like it at all <laughs> Whew, that's really really rough um, yeah I know a lot of people have been getting peach cobbler because you know it came back and there's a BOGO um, if you if you like you know want to buy it and you think it'd be a good flavor to drink D don't 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 buy this just don't buy peach cobbler you can buy so many better peach flavors like peach iced tea and um peach rings just don't get this if you want a peach flavor just don't don't buy this just please buy peach iced tea i mean it's sold out right now but once it's back just buy peach iced tea or peach rings if you want to buy it for the novelty um sure go ahead but if you just want to get flavors that you really like um, I just don't recommend getting this. It's really not a flavor I ever see myself drinking again because it is quite bad. This is a flavor like French vanilla. It's a flavor that I have a tub of, but I'm never going to drink. But you can admire the, the new tower. I have a bigger tower. And if I can move this correctly without all of these falling off. Okay. Yeah, that uh, is pretty much it. Very short review on Peach Cobbler. Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that's that's pretty much all I got on Peach Cobbler. Just don't don't get it. It's not good uh, in milk or water. It is not good. Just don't buy it. That is pretty much it for this review of Peach Cobbler. <laughs> like I said, the review on the classified flavor will be out as soon as I get my hands on that flavor, which will hopefully be soon. I'm kind of scared because I don't know what classified is going to be. I don't think it's going to be mystery flavor reskinned. I don't think it's going to be lychee or leche, whatever, however you pronounce the fruit that mystery flavor was. I doubt that that is what the flavor is actually going to be. I feel like it's going to be something different that is completely different to the OG mystery flavor that came out years ago. And obviously we did just have a mystery flavor kind of with Phase X. They just said frost infused. That's pretty much all we had. So it was basically a mystery flavor. So this is kind of like our third mystery flavor. We have no idea what it's gonna be, but hopefully I will get my hands on it soon and I'll be able to describe the flavor to everyone. I have this good feeling that it's gonna be a really good flavor. Like I feel like they wouldn't make a bad flavor a mystery flavor like they did years ago with the OG mystery flavor because the OG mystery flavor I've never had it but I've heard very very bad things uh, <laughs> and you know if you're spending like 50 bucks on a tub I know they're like 36 but with tax and shipping for everything at least for me um, living in the States shipping is actually pretty cheap for G Fuel but it usually ends up being like 47 bucks for one tub and I would feel like G Fuel would get a lot of hate if they made a bad flavor a mystery and a lot of people ended up buying it and hating it that happened many years ago with the OG mystery flavor and I feel like they would not do that again because they really did get a lot of hate for a mystery flavor uh, but yeah that flavor is on the way along with battle juice because you know I just bought battle juice because why not <laughs> it's a BOGO uh, <laughs> and I honestly have all the flavors that I could really want at least right now um, yeah that is pretty much it for the peach cobbler flavor thank you all so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe bye Oof, this is this is really rough. I didn't have a bloopers in the last couple videos, but this that I like, just seriously do not buy this. The top is coming off. Do not buy the flavor. It's so bad. And also something that this tower represents, uh, you know, since it is such a big tower, uh, it shows even more how um, I have a problem. After that god awful flavor, desperate times call for desperate measures. This is my first time having hype sauce in a long time. Buy this, not Peach Gobbler.